John Spann, and I work for the Mississippi Humanities Council. Today I am in the Mississippi Museum of Art to showcase a few pieces from the New Symphony of Time Gallery and also the 2021 Mississippi Invitation. So with my background in humanities and as a public historian, I'm going to bring you some pieces that resonate with me historically, but also play to my interest in the classic arts. The first piece I'm going to highlight is from Richmond Barté, and this piece is titled Feral Bengal. And Richmond Barté was a sculptor from Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, and he actually wanted to be educated at the New Orleans School of Art but was barred because of the color of his skin. So he had to go to the Chicago Art Institute and there he was trained on the art of sculpture. And in 1934, he went to Paris to discover things and he was at a cabaret show and saw a dance performance by a man named Francois Bengal who went by the name of Farrell as a nickname. Well, because he was so well known, he saw that not only was Josephine Baker a well-renowned um, dancer and artist in Paris, but also Francois Bengal was. And he was captivated by his, his dance performance. And when he returned to New York, he actually started working on this piece in 1934. And as you can see, the piece, even though it's standing still, it looks like it's moving. The, there's curvature, the lines are all swaying, and you can see that he's actually trying to capture Bengal's dance. So apparently, uh, you can deduce from the uh, from the weapon that probably Pharaoh Bengal did a lot of performances with weaponry. However, instead of it being militant and angry, it looks more like it was seductive and sexual. And uh, that's one of the things I like about it because it kind of attracts you and seduces you into wanting to know more about the piece. Uh, I think Barté does a great job of making this piece kind of look similar to one of my favorite pieces called uh, David by Donatello. And we all know the, of uh, Michelangelo's David. Uh, that's the one that's more popular. We also have a David that was done by Botticelli. But Donatello's uh, David was a little bit more sexual and seductive. And it reminded me of that when I looked at this piece of uh, Pharaoh Bengal. You can see that it's da he's dancing, he's moving, it's sexual, he's, the body is naked, but you can see that it is not in a uh, aggressive way. He is portrayed, the figure is being portrayed in a more seductive way. And uh, this is one of my favorite pieces within the New Symphony of Time, not only because it is from a Mississippian, but it, is pro but it reminds me of one of my favorite classic pieces, the Donatello. So the second piece I'm going to highlight is also within the New Symphony of Time Gallery. This piece is called Mississippi Riverbank from the Trail of Tears series, which was done in 2005 by mixed media artist Vinnie Andrews. And within this piece you can see that this, he uses paint and cloth to depict the Native Americans being removed from their native lands in the southeast area of the United States to lands west of the Mississippi. So this piece really resonates with me because of my background in Mississippi history. The Native American Removal Act was an atrocious thing that displaced, as I said, a little over 60,000 indigenous peoples from their homelands across the southeastern United States. It really hits home with Mississippi because um, this is where I live and I am understanding of that the fact that we are living on stolen land. I am living on stolen land. This is not uh, my original home. And so to, to have this happen to them, they're being displaced from their home and taken from their home, and seeing this in art form is another like punch to say, hey, this, now this happened, you know? And to have Benny Andrews depict this in this way, even though the, the picture looks colorful, and you can see the cloth kind of poking out and having a 3D effect um, within, the pe within the artwork it is very intriguing until you actually understand what it's about. You know, it draws you in and then you realize, oh, they're on the Trail of Tears. This was a horrible event in history that caused thousands of indigenous people to lose their lives and lose their homeland. So 
not only does it ring true of the past and, and bring the past to present, but things like this are still going on today. The, the whole concept of who belongs where is still being talked about today, not just in Mississippi, not just in the United States, but worldwide. And so we all have to realize that we are living on stolen land. Whose land really uh, are we on? And so that question is still being brought up today. Um, and this particular piece, Mississippi River Bank, continues to highlight how the past is still present. So another one of my favorite pieces within the New Symphony of Time is this great work done by Jackson native Philandis Thames. And this picture or this beadwork is a depiction of Miss Merle Evers, the wife of civil rights great Mega Wiley Evers. And Miss Merle Evers was also a civil rights veteran herself and after the death of Mega Evers went on to be the president of the NAACP and with her being the first woman to do so, she was able to put other black women in the limelight, in places of uh, high position within the organization to lead with different perspectives in the movement. Um, as you can see, this picture doesn't really show her with her head down. It shows her with her head up. You know, she's at her husband's funeral and she has her little children there beside her and she realizes, I'm sure, that she has to be strong for them. She has to keep going for them. It is more than just about her. And she embodies the, the spirit of resilience, the spirit of uh, fortitude and uh, perseverance in her eyes. And the eyes say everything. It says that even though this has happened, I'm still going to push on. Like that, um, like that famous civil rights song, Ain't Gonna Let Nobody Turn Me Around. Even with the death of her husband, she did not let this turn her around. She continued to stay pushing forward, not only for her children, but for the people of Mississippi and for African American people all over the nation um, as she continued her work diligently as a civil rights veteran within the NAACP. So I showed you some pieces within the New Symphony of Time Gallery that resonate with me. Now I'm gonna show you some pieces that resonate with me in the 2021 Mississippi Invitational Gallery. So I'm in front of three photographs by Je uh, Jacksonian native Christina McField, also my friend, <laughs> who um, is a great photographer and has a great eye for nature and really like, abandoned things. Um, she has taken two photos that I really like, the first one being Stairway to Never, which she took in Utica, Mississippi, around 2018. And this particular spot, this particular picture is actually the old gymnasium of the Utica Middle School, um, Utica, Utica Middle School. And it is run down, as you can see, there's kudzu and vines running all over the place. And I actually had the opportunity to take a photograph trip with her Recently in 2021, um, she she always goes on these photograph trips where she's in like you know an abandoned house or some obscure area and it looks so cool and I would always reach out to her like hey take me take me take me and we never got around to it but finally uh, early 2021 we were able to go and we actually went to this place in Utica and I was actually able to take some photographs with her and see how she does her work. And she's very, very uh, thorough and she's meticulous and she will go where no others will go. You know, there was a dark room underneath the stairwell that I wasn't going in that was abandoned for probably, you know, a hundred years. And she went down in there and looked around and I was honestly up at the top of the stairwell just waiting for her to get back. So um, she is fearless. And her photographs show that as well. Um, another photograph that I really like is on the other side, which is shown here. Now, this kind of this resonates with me because that old saying of you know things aren't always good, or grass isn't greener on the other side, or things are all, always not as good as you think they are on the other side. Uh, this that kind of resonates with me on, on this one. So. You know, you're, you're on one side of the wall and you look through this little peephole 
and you see that it's trashy and messy and abandoned as well. And so this picture really resonates with me to um, be content with what you have, love the one you're with, uh, make do with the resources that you have to make something that you don't have, you know, make something out of nothing. Because wishing and hoping for uh, other people's things or envying somebody else doesn't get you anywhere or um, wishing that you had something that you don't have doesn't get you anywhere. So be appreciative of the things that you have within your hand and maybe you can make something out of nothing with those resources. So th these two pictures resonate with me because of my connection to Christina as a friend, but also her eye for photography helps me realize uh, that I need to stay grounded within my own life. So as we've moved through the different galleries, I've shown you the pieces that really resonate with me. I've seen that I, I've realized that I've curated a, a theme that is kind of dealing with death, but also historical facts. And, and that's probably because of my background as a public historian and I uh, have my humanities background and things. But those things resonate with me because they're still relevant today. Some, some of those things are still relevant today, especially with the Trail of Tears, especially with uh, Miss Merle Evers' portrait uh, with the bees that Philanus Thames did. And um, those things will always be with me. Those people, those events will always be with me as I go. But I want to share with, in this last piece a picture that kind of just resonates with me on like an everyday level. And I think you could um, really uh, connect to this piece as well. And it is called Another Day, Another Spill by Ashley Coleman. And Ashley Coleman is actually from Mississippi. She's from Ackerman, Mississippi. Uh, so that's any of you Mississippi State fans or Mississippi State graduates that's near Starkville. Uh, this piece, as you can see, depicts a open refrigerator with blueberries on the ground, a carton of blueberries on the ground. And one could just imagine or interpret what happened here. And my interpretation of this is Something that I do often at my house when I get frustrated with opening up a, a container or something and I'm already anxious or nervous or upset about something, I don't get it open as soon as I want to and I just break it or uh, it falls out of my hands and it hits the ground and there's a mess everywhere. I'm going to do that with milk, I'm going to do that with these berries as you see and other things. And as you can see, there's nobody there. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody there. It's just the open door and the blueberries on the floor. And I don't know about you, but when things like this happen to me, when I make a spill and it's frustrating, I don't clean it up right away. <laughs> I have to exit the situation. I have to leave, breathe. As uh, the term goes, I have to relax, relate, and release. <laughs> so uh, that is what... This is that, that's what is resonating with me here. That's what I'm interpreting here. Uh, the person who dropped these berries had to go and let that go. Whatever was on their mind, whatever was bothering them, they had to release that before they were able to uh, pick up the berries, clean up the mess, and get on with their day. But this is st everyday stuff, right? We, we deal with this, these little bitty uh, annoyances throughout our day that even though they're small, they can, if, you know, they can really um, affect us if we let it, if we let them. So uh, being able to control your emotions and control your anger and work through those small issues will ultimately help you um, orchestrate and work through bigger issues as you move through your day. So, so again, I'm ending with this uh, piece that is reminiscent of just an everyday Spill an everyday situation in your kitchen. Titled Another Day, Another Spill by Ashley Coleman, native Mississippian from Ackerman. And I just want to say thank you and thank you to the Mississippi Museum of Art for having me and allowing me to show some of my favorite pieces within their gallery spaces. The New Symphony of Time and also the 2021 Mississippi Invitational. Thank you for listening.